People who breach stay-home notices in Singapore will be charged in court. Home Affairs and Law Minister Keishan Mugam has responded to questions in Parliament amid reports of some people allegedly breaching their notices. Vanessa Lim with more. Returning Singapore residents and long-term pass holders have to serve a 14-day stay-home notice once they arrive in the country. It's part of measures to curb the spread of the COVID-19 amid a wave of imported cases. During the two weeks, they are not allowed to leave their homes, required to monitor their health closely and avoid having visitors. More than 21,000 stay-home notices have been issued to date. But there have been reports of alleged breaches. Some of the messages that many of us have seen going around about recent returnees, particularly from the United Kingdom, that they are going out to eat local food, they hold birthday parties in their homes, they interact with friends, they go to clubs, bars and so on while they were under stay-at-home notices. Another case was reported in an online site, Mothership, a Singaporean returning from Myanmar was apparently issued with a stay-at-home notice, but he went out to have Bakute and posted about it on his uh, Facebook page. I have asked for that case to be investigated. We are trying to verify some of these messages on stay-at-home notices being flouted. And if anyone, member of public, you have information about such behavior, please give it to the police. We will follow up and we cannot allow such behavior. So I have given very clear instructions where these cases are verified to be true, we will charge in court. According to authorities, those placed on stay-home notice carry some risk of having COVID-19 due to their travel history. They might also have been in contact with others who may have the virus. To ensure compliance, enforcement is conducted through surveillance, phone calls and surprise house visits. Under the Infectious Diseases Act, those who breach the rules face a jail term of up to six months and fined $10,000. The penalty will be doubled for repeat offenders. Permanent residents and those with long-term passes, including students and dependents, may have their passes revoked or shortened. They will also be barred from re-entering Singapore. Foreign employees may be repatriated and have their work passes revoked, while students face suspension or dismissal from schools. Starting 27th of March, travelers into the country must submit an online health declaration before proceeding with immigration clearance. Those who falsely declare their travel history to avoid serving stay-home notice may also be prosecuted. The vast majority of Singaporeans are responsible, understand this, and have come together and have acted admirably, but there will always be a few who are irresponsible in every society and they risk undoing our efforts and put other people's lives at risk. We have to take action against them. Mr. Shamugam urged all Singaporeans to do their part to exercise social responsibility. Meanwhile, local club Zouk has debunked as fake news that a COVID-19 positive student visited its premises over the weekend. The club says it has not been issued a quarantine order or any notice from the authorities. It has reported the issue to the Health Ministry, POFMA office and the police.